I purchased this portable power station myself on Amazon for about $179, about two weeks ago. And I purchased this for the, a couple different reasons. I'll give you an idea. I have a 12 volt cooler that I just purchased that also runs on 120 volt and it's a fridge and freezer. Doesn't draw much. I'll show you a video on that soon. That's in my work truck. So when I'm doing traveling across Florida, I always have ice cold drinks or if I want to get some frozen food on a trip, I can leave that stuff frozen in that cooler, no ice required. So I purchased this to go along with that because in hurricane season, if for some reason my fridge quits or the generator decides it doesn't want to run, I can run that cooler with some cold stuff on this, right? Or take it to the beach or on the boat or an RV or wherever. So that's one reason I bought this was mainly for that cooler, but also everybody can use something like this in hurricane season or uh, an issue with uh, emergency power or camping or, or anywhere. Um, I have a 14,000 watt generator that will run the house and these you know, LED smart 4K TVs really are sensitive to not having clean power. And a lot of times, even though those generators, unless it's a Honda that you're spending $8,000 on, a lot of times these generators you know, will say clean power and the, the frequency of the hertz goes up and down and you have spikes and that damages TVs and sensitive electronics like computers and stuff. And I have lost a couple of TVs in the past from dirty generators. So, I could plug my TVs into this during a hurricane and leave it off the generator and not worry about you know transient spikes in that generator uh, uh, or surging up and down really affecting the TV. This thing's gonna run full output power until it's dead at clean, pure sine wave output, okay? It's a big thing. Now, um, the weight of this is about, I'd say like eight pounds. Um, I think it was, I think it said four kilograms or seven kilograms, I can't remember. But look, it's, I mean, two fingers, it's not that heavy at all. Uh, I'm going to say maybe like the size, weight of a gallon of water, almost eight pounds. Um, it is a 300 watt max output with a 600 watt peak for a split moment in case something kicks on, okay? Uh, it does have an LED light here on the side. It's got various outputs on the front. You do have your two 110 volt outlets here. In the middle, you have a... Uh, uh, cigarette lighter or power port right here, which I've been using this actually for a couple of CB radios I've looked at here on the desk, uh, plugged into here instead of having to cut off and put on Anderson power poles and just stick it in here. It also has a screen on the front with your USB ports here, uh, maximum 3 amp output on USB, and you can charge this thing via the charging port here in the middle uh, with the AC to DC wall wart adapter it comes with, or a, um, the, a car charging adapter that goes from you know 12 volt to, to here. This is a 12 to 28 volt input. So that means you could also use solar panels at a maximum of 65 watts to charge this. And that's got a built-in MPPT controller inside to charge. So I have several fold-out blanket style solar panels that have about 18, 19 out volts output. And I can totally run that with a DC barrel jack right in here and charge it. You could also do an input here on this USB-C. It says PD input output maximum 65 watts. Um, so really neat stuff. Now, uh, like I said, 300 watts output maximum here. I have ran this thing, um, you know, and it gives you a watt indicator here on how much you're drawing from this thing. So the core I'll show you in another video, the core at maximum efficiency on max mode, high, high speed, whatever. It's silent, but it runs at about 60, you know, 50, 60 watts. The TVs that I have in there are about 100 watts. Um, they go up and down, I'm not sure why, but I'll show you a clip here of me running the TV, and I've gotten about five and a half hours from fully charged to fully dead on a 65 inch uh, LED 4K TV. Um, streaming on Wi-Fi, I've got about five and a half hours on this. So, you could budget that if you needed to use it for camping instead of leaving it on. This thing would run a TV all day if you turned it on for an hour here, hour there. Or if you had a solar input onto the jack while you're running it, it might extend the charge or the, uh, the output of this a little longer. All right, so the time right now, 8.33. So I decided to plug this in to the uh, TV. It's a 65 inch Roku TCL TV. Um, fully charged, and, and I, I'm not sure why the wattage on a TV changes. It'll sit at 90 for a while, and it'll drop back down to 30, 35, 33. Um, but anyways, 
we're getting about one bar per hour. Uh, when it was sitting at 90 for a while, it was coming down, you know, intermittent up and down. See, it's sitting at 90 now. The fan come on, you hear that? Um, but yeah, we're at two bars left, 90 watts, powering the 65 inch TCL here. And um, so at my calculations, every, I started at 520, so it's 824-ish, somewhere up there. Uh, we're down to three, so 9, 20, 10, 20. So that gives me about five hours. I will, I will let you know what it looks like after hour five. All right, here's an update. So it is 926. Uh, like I said, 520 I started it. So 627, 28, 29 roughly. I'm down to one bar. So that would run roughly to just after 10, which I'm going to say five hours. Now, again, I'm not sure why the TV goes down to 35 watts and up to 90. But uh, I'm going to shut this off. All right, we're at uh, 4.54 p.m. And uh, we're down to one bar. So 7 o'clock p.m. is going to be 24 hours. You can see the power consumption here in eco mode. So I ran a max power from 7 to seven at night to about 10 in the morning. I switched over to eco to see what would happen. The difference is about 45 watts to about 33-ish, roughly like that. And here's the... Temperature says 34, this says 37, 36, the compressor is running, you can't hear it, listen, barely. So at seven o'clock tonight in two hours, if, if that is, uh, see the compressor just kicked off. So at, yes, Sophie, the parrots, the parrot loves me with the camera. Uh, at uh, seven o'clock, if it's still running on one bar, we will be 24 hours with this little tiny battery on this cooler, and uh, pretty cool. Okay, moment of truth right there is 7.25 p.m. We are still at, well, it's not running right now. We're still at one bar. That is a total of uh, 24 hours and 25 minutes that this cooler has been running on this little box here. Uh, should I get a, well, I won't put the thermometer in there, but right now I got it set at 36. And uh, not only the battery bank or the battery plant, 12.7 volts output. And right now the compressor is not running, but 24 hours. Honey, what do you think about that? I think it's great. 24 hours on a cooler on this little tiny thing. So there you have it. There is a fan inside to keep it cool. That fan is not that loud. Um, when it comes on, when you're pulling a little bit of power, you'll hear it cycle on. But I can tell you now, here's a true to video uh, testimonial here. With me running that cooler, believe it or not, this and the cooler together with that AC compressor and everything, one foot from my ICOM 7100 did not introduce any noise into my receive on my radio. It happens a lot with dirty electronics where they create spurious emissions and you can hear the compressor kicking on and off and the fan whining. Believe it or not, not with this because I had this laying on, I'll show you where I had it laying, on the floorboard in the truck and the cooler in the back seat and both of those were a foot away from the base of the radio and three feet from the uh, head of the ICOM 7100. So if you're interested in if this makes noise in the two weeks I've used it, absolutely not. Zero noise, you put it in your truck, that's a big thing for people that are operating ham radio. So I'll show you how I had this set up with the cooler video that's coming up, because I think that's really a good thing to have. Um, anybody can use those. I mean, if my dad would have seen this, and the, the 12 volt core, he would have shit, man. He really would have. That would have been, he would have been like, wow, what can we do with this thing? You know, that, that, my dad would have done the same thing. He would have seen how many things we could run on it. And, and he would have purposely carried this to job sites just to show his buddies and to, to plug stuff in. And yeah, you know, me and him thought alike, I'm sure. I know. I'm just, I'm sure he would think that about this. So take care and uh, check out the other videos that are coming. The links are in the description to this, the cooler, and so much more.